Oh look, particle effects, so we don't have to show it actually carving anything. <laughs> Game, you so silly. Mission complete! I have acquired a hawk emblem. Yay! As you can see, nobody has broken through the... If I hadn't done that with the security alarm, then the zombies would have broken through the glass and would maul me before I could get to the end. But because I did that, we are free, we are free. I'm probably gonna trip the alarm again though. I don't know if that'll do anything for later. It might, I don't know. Might as well, just in case. Need that, need that. Need that. Need that. Need that. Okay. Shut the alarm! <laughs> oh, Scarlet, you're so silly when playing Resident Evil games. <sighs> Onward, try not to die! Oh wait, there's no zombies here. Ha! Can't die. There's no zombies. Do -do -do. That's pretty much the entire section of the prison for a good portion of the game. We do have to come back here at one point, or two points technically. But that's a problem for future me. Hi, Zomble. Aw, you're so cute. You think you, you think you can have some of Claire's shoulder. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but uh, Claire, she... Claire's shoulder is the territory of one Steve Burnside. And yes, that's how I sh who I ship Claire with. Not Leon, but Steve. I saw those hug on rounds! Do I have any room for those green herbs? No. Balls. I have room for one. Does that count? <laughs> Yay, handgun rounds! Handgun rounds, handgun rounds, hand, 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 handgun rounds, hand, 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 rounds. Okay, I'm gonna do something really, really stupid here, guys. I never do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Suddenly, we have room for this last one. I know I could have just left it there, but I probably need a full powered herb anyway. Eventually. And this game is surprisingly lenient with health items. Yeah, push that block, Claire. Resident Evil bo block pushing simulator. That's pretty much what they are. Every single game has at least three mandatory block puzzles. Inclu excluding possibly four. And now here we are into the next section of the game, and I'm only just about 30 minutes in. Making some good time, I am. Hi, zombie. I can dodge this one. And this one. Yeah! You have been dodged, sir! How does that make you feel? Dogs! Oh, I barely dodged these guys. Nope! Yeah, I saw there was a green herb there. I'll deal with it later. Dun dun dun! That painting seems to be missing a face. Also, I'll show you all how I know this code for this computer. I'll show you all in a bit, but I already know the code for this computer. <laughs> Please enter your ID number. MTC zero three nine four. Mission in progress. Please wait. A defurcation has been confirmed. I just remember that code because I played this game so many times. <gasps> um. It, trust me, it's just in another room. There's no zombies or any fights you have to go through to get it. <sighs> I'll show you guys in a bit. Got a couple other important things to do, though. 
like equipping this. You'll all see why in a bit. Do -do -do. Ooh, there we go. And this here is a save room. Hey, save room. Okay. You see this shiny? It's an ID card. You check it, and it has the ID number for that for that computer that I just used. I just already knew it. So we need an, two guns for that display case. And guess who's gonna get in the way of us getting those? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. He is a love interest. Yeah, we're gonna put these away for now because we don't need them. Put this away for now so it's all safe. Put this away because I don't need it, frankly. And this because I also don't need it. These should be good for a while. And this is... Ink ribbons! Might as well save. Get game, game, game. There we go. Use ink ribbon? Yes! I'm gonna save over the old save file because I don't care. I don't know. The only reason I'm saving, probably gonna save a little bit more often this game, is because of the fact that I'm let's playing it, because I've done this game with only one save. And by one, as evidenced by the fact that I have the rocket launcher, because that's part of that challenge, you can only save halfway through the game. Should be this open. Yep. There's a reason I have the lighter equipped. In this room, there is bats. Bats are scared of the light of my flashlight, or light of my flashlight, the light of my lighter, so they won't come near me. Which is good for me. There should be something in here. Claire, open the freaking thing. Oh, there it is. Handgun rounds. And this. A dear lumen case that we cannot open until we get the lockpick. And... F8 spray that we're going to hopefully not use because that lowers my ranking. And I need to make up for getting an E ranking in Resident Evil 3. Granted, that was a first time let's play. And okay, now we need the gun again. Do, do. And this is the door that we unlocked using that code. Also. Because of course there is. You guys can try if you want. I mean, you're not gonna get close to me. Oh Jesus, there's another one, really? I could probably dodge him, but I don't care that much. Seeing as I have a silly amount of bullets already. Like I said, I've never had to worry about running out of ammo in this game. Especially later. I think I've, I think my record is having 400 bullets for the handgun by the end of the game. I'm not kidding. There's a zombie. He's over here. I am going to run right by him. He was to the right slightly off screen, so the second you try and get into the door that's over there, he jumps off. He jumps at you. And also, more handgun rounds. Yay, we have handgun rounds. We have handgun rounds. Anything else over here? Nope. There is, however, a button. Joe Powell's by here. Push the button? Yes. When would you not push the button? Cutscene time. I know that song by heart, I just don't want to sing the entire thing right now. 
So this is only about 99.9% uh, .9 creepy. Now kiss. That's pretty much their entire relationship is just now kiss. Okay. Hey, look! It's a thing! We're gonna need it. Trust me. It's a thing that I can pick up. Of course we're gonna need it. Okay, you see these? The, the gold lugers I need for that, that other door, but we're not gonna take them. Because if I did, this entire thing would shut off, it would start play it would start gassing me, and I would have to put them back. But we'll get them eventually. And this door over here is locked. I need a silver key. So we're going to leave to where I need to use that steering wheel. And then nothing bad will happen all at all ever, period. Yeah! Help me! Oh, right. Except Steve? it does. Guess where he's at? If you guessed he's going for the guns that we just bypassed, you're correct. So, guess what? Steve is suffering! <laughs> okay, I do like Steve though, but he is kind of a douche in the beginning of the game. So let's just sit here and enjoy this for a minute. Steve is suffering. Okay, I'm done. There's a message on the control panel. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Operate it? Yes. There are switches. Which will you push? The correct answer is C and E. Because they're a pair of guns are the only ones that really match each other. That was too close. But I think You have those guns, I need them. You. Excuse you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them Give to them me. to me. The you way she says that is so petu it, like petulant child. Fine. Claire is still a Let's terrible babysitter. Deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. Excuse you. You're the one who I just saved your life. See you around, Claire. Adios. Jerk. Hey, wait, Steve. And he's gone because of course he is. <sighs> Onward. Hi, Zomble. You should give him a name. Your name can be Michael. Michael the Zomble. Michael the We Will Not See Him for a while because he doesn't like to come out of the corner. But we can hear him and that's enough. <laughs> More cutscenes! Uh oh, this is when you move Claire. I love how Claire is faster than a bullet. How dare you interfere with my operation? What didn't do anything. Talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. No, I, I didn't. Have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. I am Resident oh, Evil. Yes. You must be one of the most lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! <laughs> Stop wasting bullets, Alfred. That's not how you is do among this. The world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Inc. The way he, every line he has is so creepy, and his voice actor now is just me, for lols. Why have you attacked this installation? Attacked. Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Especially because she was unconscious most of the time. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released. Creating the T-Virus has been experimental for a while. Monsters. Claire, I would move your head Who if I were you. Who do you work for? Who sent you? 
Maybe the one time that Alfred's a good shot with that thing. Have it your way then. Wait You're for it. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> that laugh! What? I don't even.